you guys, this is Gwendolyn, and today I would like to share with you a... <laughs> Hi you guys, this is Gwendolyn with another video for you guys. But today I would like to do a somewhat of a review and a comparison of, of quite a few foundations I've tried myself. Now, let me... <laughs> share with you some of the foundations that I've used. Now I must mention that I have I guess somewhat of a combination skin. I'm really oily in the T-zones and under my eyes it's a little bit dry sometimes. And you guys this is not based on older skin. This is just a universal problem. Now well it may be you know. But anyway one of the makeups that I've tried is the Tint Dual something like that. The Ultra 24-hour makeup wear. Now this one, I know a lot of you really like this particular foundation. I like it somewhat, but I found with my skin getting really oily in my T-zone and sometimes around my cheeks, I found that this makeup moved a little bit throughout the day. But the only thing is, maybe sometimes I'm trying to experiment with different primers, like for instance I used the Rockin Republic. This is not really per se sold anymore. You have to really scout around for this one. But it's, this is a really good primer. I use this sometimes to help with this particular foundation. I would use my Dynair, my, I'm looking for my liquid makeup. This is a liquid makeup for the Dynair Airbrush Company. But this works really, really well to go with a primer. I have this particular primer. I do sometimes, I have used this Makeup Forever one as well. Trying my best to keep this particular foundation from moving. And I've also used the Banana Powder. That helps. But my skin gets so oily, you guys, it would just absorb most things that I put on. But I try and keep trying anyway. So, so these are some of the things that I've tried with this particular foundation. And now I must mention to you guys, I don't have a lot of problems with my skin, to be honest. I don't have blemishes and things like that. I am a person that looks for something light wear. I don't do a lot of piling or you build the buildup of makeup. I need something pretty light for my skin because I like things that are quick. I like to get in there, throw on some makeup, and be out. I'm usually a five minute makeup person, to be honest. And do not comment and tell me I look like that. I'm, <laughs> I'm just joking. But another makeup I really like, you guys. This one is fine, but I really love the Chanel. The Chanel, I noticed that will stay on most of the day. And what I mean about most of the day for any of these, I put on makeup early in the mornings sometimes, maybe what about nine something in the mornings. And I expect that makeup to hold until 11, 12 at night. Because I just am not a person that likes to fuss a lot with my face. I just, I prefer not to. But when I do need to touch up, I use the blotting what are the little blotting... The blotting sheets or sheets, blotting paper. The blotting sheets. I do use that sometimes, but I do not want the makeup to actually start moving. And I have experienced that, like I said, with this poor guy. You poor thing. You work so well for so many people. Sorry. Now, I also do love the Estee Lauder, the Double Wear. I love this makeup. And you guys, I'm not going into a whole lot of details about the colors because you know how universal that is. We, I try things and I order most of my products online, to be honest. I have not, I don't go in and buy a lot of things, even though I'm with a VIB with the Sephora. I do most of my shopping online. And I just pretty much look around at the reviews and do things like that and try to get, get a comparisons 
of someone I see on YouTube and see if they look similar to my complexion. I go through all of the reviews of the different makeups. I look at all the shades. I compare sometimes with my daughter. She's a lighter complexion, so if something works for her, I know I usually need to go just a tad bit dark, darker, a tad bit darker. No. <laughs> but another one I really love, so I love the Estee Lauder. I love the Chanel. Even though I have two extreme colors, I use one as a highlighter because you have to remember, I like five minutes. Five, ten minutes max, I want to be done with my face. So another one I really love is the Marc Jacobs. Now this one is not actually an all day wear makeup. I don't think the foundation is because it, but it looks so nice. It's so, it's really soft and really beautifully applied. And so is the Chanel. The Chanel is so, it's so silky. I love it. And it does have a, a slight, some type of a smell to when you first, when you put open it or whatever, but it does, it goes away pretty quickly in my opinion. But I love this one. I love the Marc Jacobs and the Chanel. The Lam, I mean the Estee Lauder. I love this one. This one stays on as expected that the, this one stays on all day. Um, the, what is this again? The Marc Jacobs. This stays on pretty well. But I do have to use the liquid powder for any of those. I use that. I do try to use a primer. This particular one I do like, and I'm starting to use the banana powder better. So I got a better result with that. Now I do like the something like the Maybelline Fit. I do like I like this one somewhat, but it doesn't stay on that well for me either. So I went through that one so quickly. I like the what is the Kat Von D, the Locket mm -hmm. Tattoo Foundation. This one was okay. It was just, it was okay. Some of these foundations I know are expected to wear longer. I couldn't get it to stay that well, but maybe I need to try a few more things. And just for the record, I'm not saying any of these won't work for most people or other people. This is not a slander on any of these. I think all the makeups out there work for someone. It's, that's what I feel about it. And I just love buying makeup anyway, so all I need is an excuse. And also, one of the ones I really like, you guys, is this Ready to Wear Longevity. This one, and I use in combination sometimes with the another, what is this, Skin Perfection. Oh my gosh. Now these, they as well as the Chanel and the Marc Jacobs go on feeling totally just like your skin. These are amazing. I really like these. Great product. And they do seem to stay on pretty much all day. Love those. Love them. That's why these are here, you guys. These are my loves. This one is trying to hang out, but you know, we know how that goes. Now, I do sometimes use the Urban Decay Setting Spray. I try this sometimes and I guess it helps. <laughs> I don't know. I can't tell because when I do, maybe I'm piling up too much. You know, I didn't think about that. Maybe I'm doing overkill because something weird about my skin, when I put makeup on, I can look later in the day and it's just gone. It would just be gone. I don't know what that is. I don't know what ghostly something is going on here, but my makeup would just vanish. I'm telling you. Stop laughing at me, Alexis. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. This Sephora, this is like a airbrush makeup. Let me tell you about this one. This is a really, really nice color and the feel is like airbrush somewhat. But this baby, when you're using this, do not try to sample anything on your hands. Don't do that. Or if you do spray back far enough, I was trying to take a little bit out and put on my hand, on the back of my hand, to apply with a brush. Let me tell you guys, this puppy burned my skin, and I do mean burned. There was an actual burn mark. I was like, I can take a lot of pain, but that really hurt. And you did it to me. <laughs> 
But you know what? The directions they say to spray at a certain distance. But who would think that would be too close? But don't do that. I burned myself. I was so disappointed. So I stopped using you. And you're a really nice color. But this one is on. He's in timeout. So for burning mommy. Okay. And the basic, basic old school. Everybody should use the Revlon Color Stay. I like this actual makeup. It does last really well. But I can't find my color anymore. And I try to use the, the two colors together. My skin is not feeling this anymore. It's just something changing with my complexion. It's just not feeling it. I need a little bit more of a red undertone. So that's what's hard to find in the color stay. But it does last. It lasts really, it lasts really well. And so does the Sephora. The one that burned me, it does last. I'm not saying the product is defective. Maybe the way I used it, but... I just had to let you guys know, just in case someone is doing that, you know how we put the makeup on the back of our hands? Make sure you put it, you extend it back far enough. I still don't know if it would work. I won't try it <laughs> anymore, so we'll find out one day. Now, I do like the Black Up makeup. I love this one as well. This is not a long wear makeup for me because I get so oily. I get really oily, but... It is a beautiful color. I think they have so many color ranges in the Black Up. Really, really, really good foundation. They have so many colors. Chanel, the Chanel is not that plentiful to me in their coloring, but I think the combination of the two, then the way it feels, it made me go ahead and stick with that. Marc Jacobs have really good color combinations. Of course, the Lancome. They have quite a few. Not very many red undertones, in my opinion. Kat Von D, Von D, she has really good color choices as well. Maybelline, pretty good choice, color choices. So I think we can find, you can find something out of these different colors. I've also tried the Maybelline BB creams. Because remember, I don't like wearing a lot of makeup. And this sometimes, this is a this is pretty good, I think. If I remember right, I just started mm -hmm. getting new products and I just got carried away. I think this works pretty well. You liked that one. And a lot of the BB creams, if I'm not mistaken, they do have, um, this one has acne treatment, which I don't need, but if you do, this one has acne treatment, pretty good. So if you do need that, the BB cream I've tried, is there, there's a CC cream as well. Mm -hmm. I've tried different things with, what is it, the the under, what is it, sunscreen. Sunscreen. I don't care for too many products with sunscreen in it. For some reason, they are a little bit more ash tone for me. They, they make me look a little bit grayish to me. Mm -hmm. So I've even tried Lola. Remember I told you guys about I'm Called Lola by my grandbabies? And for the ones of you that don't know, you should have been listening to that. That's important. So they call me Lola because it's... Tagalog. Tagalog. It grandmother. This is what I did the last time I mentioned Lola. It's Tagalog. And my little grandbabies call me Lola. So remember that. That may be in something important one day. The Lola, they have... This is a foundation. This is pretty nice. Or just a powder foundation or something. This is pretty nice. I think this worked pretty well as well, but the color wasn't so perfect and it made me look a little bit dry, but we excuse Lola. She got so free. Okay, I use, you know what, also, I have different liquid makeups, the liquid foundations, but by Dynair, the only ones I really use, because Dynair has a lot of pretty much natural based and, what is it, um, hypoallergenic products. So I stick with this as an under and it's something to wear under my makeup. And you can also apply it on top of your foundation. But if you go under, if I'm not mistaken, you need to wet the face a little bit and then apply the liquid powder. That's an option, way to use it. And we all use all of the different LA girls, the, what is it? 
one of these like concealers mm -hmm. because this works really well in if you need a little bit of coverage for something of course you know dark coloring a little bit so that helps I'm just looking at how many things I've experimented with and this is not all okay but with all of these makeups and with this little guy NYC matching some kind of a BB cream or something I swear it's like a, a color matching one a color match I am such a sucker for foundations you know that I would buy pretty much anything I love foundations okay this is a color match I can't remember how well it matched I think I didn't like it that much but we'll find out some of these things I go back through again and see why I changed some of them I've gone to elf I've tried this it didn't really work very well hey you guys know what a really good concealer is by fashion fair for my complexion this is really nice you see I was using that puppy up but that one is really good and the consistency is really this is a really good correction is it like a this is a concealer this is really good by fashion fair I love fashion fair makeups hey that's what's missing here hey I have some fashion fair hold on let me go get it here she is the fashion fair foundation stick oh my gosh I really like these I really like these the only thing about fashion fair makeup for me for my skin type it does not last all day for me I and I've tried and tried because I love it but you know what we're not going to give up I love carrying this around you know how convenient this is for travel fashion fair this really they have beautiful colors in my opinion because like I said I really need more of a red undertone based makeup I think now a professional out there as some of you are may argue and say I don't need that but I've tried I've tried the other ones and they just make me look really too ashy so I love the fashion fair I also like the Revlon and it says the photo ready skin lights this is so beautiful this has like this is an illuminator so it comes off like a slight shimmer to the skin this is beautiful Revlon really makes really good foundations in my opinion they really make really good foundations I just my color is just changed so much from as we all do from the season changes I cannot get that perfect match anymore that's what made me branch out a little bit and I know a lot of people talk about the difference in high-end and drugstore makeups I could say I notice a difference as far as the way the makeup the consistency like the Chanel is one of the smooth this it's like silk to me so it's Marc Jacobs so it's the the Estee Lauder they are so really soft really lightweight makeup in this one this really does the ready to wear really does feel like just skin it is really a good makeup so as far as high-end versus drugstore I think it's a matter of a preference what your skin how it works on your skin in my opinion and you just have to figure out what works best for you I've been experimenting for so many years and I am getting pretty close to what I love but out of all of these different makeups even the I've tried the double wear maximum cover which is a camouflage type of a makeup and the double wear light I did the camouflage because I'm always trying to get away with one hit wonder that's what I'm constantly looking for one hit wonder couldn't do it with this it's a really good makeup stays on all day but Mm, the color you got to be really careful with this camouflage it is really thick as I found out the light is pretty this one works pretty well as well as well the stay in place makeup this works really well stayed on all day with of course this I always use the liquid powder always to help with the makeup moving and things like that always use that but out of all of this 
the nice brushes. I love buying brushes. I don't use very many of them, but I love the process of going through the makeup, all the different things that you need to help set it. It's so be I like the pretty packaging, especially the what is my favorite? This one is beautiful. Look at how nice that is. Ooh, look at that. That is nice. Can't find this out there very much. You have to really be creative to find the Rockin' Republic. What is this? Pressed powder. This is beautiful. So I buy products too for the way they look. But out of all of this, the fun with the using the brushes. These are Sephora brushes. They're beautiful. The using the beauty blender, even the little baby one. Can you hold them up? I can't see them. The beauty blender. Yes. Using beauty blenders, using beautiful brushes. All of these things I like. I love dealing with the process of putting on these foundations. But let me tell you guys something. All of these makeups, all of these foundations, that I love, like I said, of course I love messing around with all the beautiful brushes. I love going through all of the prep work because you get all of these pretty brushes and things to use. But what really, really works is the, the Dine Air, the airbrush makeup. This is the best product for me. I get extremely oily, and this is the best thing in the world for me, the Dynair. And I have, and it comes in, you know how like with these different thingies we use, <laughs> thingies, we use like the concealers and different things, the airbrush comes with the type of concealers. Like I use this one, the highlighter, they come with, with the different type of concealers as well as the products that you would purchase just like these. The Dynair is so amazing, you guys. It's like it goes on the, it sits on the skin in a way that is just beautiful, it's flawless. And as, it, as, as soon as you apply the Dynair airbrush makeup, it dries instantly. It goes right on and it dries on instantly. That is amazing. So you know how some of these things we're concerned about transfer. I cannot stand transfer. And I don't want it on my clothing. I don't want it on my hands. As a lot of us, we carry around the different Louis Vuittons and things. I don't want to transfer things onto my bags. So that's why I look for things that won't move. I want something that you won't transfer. That means a lot to me. That's really important to me. And that's, as a matter of fact, with the Dynair, I wear their lipsticks. This is called the Pucker Up. Okay, we know I don't need to pucker up. But it's just a nice color. And then it lasts all day. This I drink coffee out of the my little travel mugs. I carry that thing around with me and my makeup is not on my lipstick does not transfer on anything, whether I'm drinking out of a coffee mug or whatever. She has some problems. Okay. Now, with the Dynair, you guys know what? I love my Dynair so much. That's one of the items I would like to give away to one of my subscribers. Okay, okay, I'll wait, I'll wait. I'll give applause. Now, we understand that I don't have a whole lot of subscribers, as we said, because I'm really new to the YouTube world. But you know what? For you ones that stuck around with me and already subscribed, I would like to reward you. Let me show you with what. I would like to give you guys the opportunity to enjoy this as well. No, you can't apply it just like this. What would you need? Oh, you're going to need a compressor. You're going to need a gun. You're going to need a hose. You're going to need a charger. So you know what? Ta -da! This would be something I would like to give to one of you guys. And the choices of colors I have for the Dynair airbrush system is a red, just like this, nice, and a white. I'll put it up against here so you can see. And a white. So, and 
That's about it. An instructional video. We need to know what we're doing. So for you that do know, let's just play along. Instructional video comes with the kit. I'll include that. I will include eyebrow, eyebrow, <laughs> stencils. That you should put here when you're applying the makeup like that. I'll include that. I will include one of these guides. And this is, I think they call this a guide. This is to help with applying around makeup around your eyes. You will use this to like cover areas you don't want the makeup to go there like this. You know, you figure it out. One of these. And what was I gonna put? <gasps> the moist and dewy, because this works well with the foundation itself. Of course, you get the sample foundation colors. A sample goes a long way, just for the record, because you only use a couple of drops, maybe two, two, three-ish drops to go in the gun here, in the cup on the gun, and you mix these two together in the gun to make the foundation a little bit like more dewy, as they say, or use the foundation alone and it would be a little bit drier. So if you have, of course, dry skin, you know what, I use this sometimes as well, and I have really oily skin, but I would use only one drop of the dewy, the moisture dewy, if I use it at all, and maybe two to three drops of the foundation color, put those both in here, you will cover the tip of the gun, pull the trigger back. As you're holding your finger on here, you're blocking the air. That's all you're doing. And it would mix up your product a little bit in there. That's when you, if you need your foundation to be a little bit more dewy, as they call, as they say. That's what you guys say in the makeup world. But my oils work pretty well, usually by itself. So anyway, you do that in your gun, and your gun won't have this on it. The I got this separate, and this is a little bit of a grip that I keep on there, but I usually use this for keeping my cleaning solution in the gun. I put a cleaning solution in here. Well, I'll show you shortly. I have it on there. Okay, so that, and you're going to get a... I think this is a 8 ounce, you're going to get maybe a 4 ounce going to come with your kit of the cleaning solution. You would need this. And just for the record, with the makeup, I believe a lot of these, the foundation that you will re be receiving is out of the glamour category. I'm not totally sure until I see them, they're being ordered. So they're going to be out of the glamour, I believe, different, they have different types, like for instance. And I will include one of these on my desk to show you about the different products that they have. I would include one of these. This shows like some of the foundations are shimmer based. Like usually you would use that, not the foundation so much, but yeah, face, body, and hair. You can use shimmer, the paramedical. Now that's when it's usually um, used for covering things like tattoos, um, what is it? Imperfections, different imperfections, molds and whatever, these products, but you will see it on there. I will send this with it. Fantasy, bright. The bright is usually for the hair only, but you know, do what you want. Glamour. It will probably be out of that category, I'm guessing, when they said that. I don't know. They changed these little bottles up. I have no idea for sure, but anyway, you will receive this in there. I'll include one of those. And I'll put in there a stencil catalog. And this is just to show different things that you can create. You can order the different stencils. I don't have them myself. I only have the one for the bra. So, but you can order the different stencils. And you can be creative with your dinair. And you know what? These, as you see that little girl on there, you can use these on your kids. 
because most of their makeups are hypoallergenic and they're they have a lot of natural solutions they have with their product mostly water based so they're really good products and I've used it on my son before and, and as she saw in the other video he's still around so <laughs> don't be afraid to experiment and another thing I love about the Dynair airbrush system is that not only could you use it for all of your makeup needs and I do mean all of your needs you would notice on this card that would come with your kit that it shows you or gives you an ideas of different ways that you can use the different products like as far as the foundation itself blush you can put this on your lips and different things so you will see that but not only is it used for that but you can also use it for tanning no this is not a tan from Dynair this is a tan from up above <laughs> but no you can use it for tanning you guys now you could I believe use your they have the different guns I would suggest if you're interested in tanning with the Dynair product I would suggest getting a different gun this is the one for the makeup and hair spray things in your hair and things like that only because the one that goes for tanning looks similar to this they have I think maybe a couple of different ones but there is a slight difference in them this connects to the hose this one connects to the hose this, this one is for tanning and there is a slight difference you see there is no cup on the top okay because you would get something like this you would order this with a separate type of a gun and that connects on to here at the bottom you because you fill this with the tanning solution and they do have dark and light and it's non-transferable this tanning solution is amazing it goes on because as my understanding it absorbs in the skin and it's like I said it's pretty natural like all of their products I think a lot of their things are based mostly water and sugar based but anyway you put the solution in here something like this and this is how you apply it a hose connects onto here connects on here and this is how you you would apply it like that they do have different ones they have a larger gun as well but this one is something like this so if you need it for tanning this is an amazing solution and the tanning product stays on up to if I believe I'm correct seven two weeks it I mean, could, ten days ten two days weeks. max for most people up to ten days and it goes on I remember being told to leave it on for about five minutes five to ten minutes and it would absorb in the skin a little bit so it is beautiful my daughter actually uses it she's a competitive athlete with the what do you do the bikini fitness modeling I'm asking her you guys she's like <laughs> sitting back there so she has to be tanned as well as you guys know the ones that compete or different like that the things like that the shows. bodybuilding shows that's what she does see she's correcting me why do kids think they know everything but that's why I actually got into Dynair because she needed a tanning option that doesn't look orange or anything like that even on your skin, right? Because they do. And you saw the mess that the other tanning solutions can cause. And then I, my skin is so sensitive, I didn't want to use the other. That's um, right. Every air breaks this girl out. So she needed something that was hyperallergenic and more natural. And I'm telling you, their solution is amazing. I have to show you this it's a bit messy because we've used it and as you get the tanning solution if you decide to go into that remember the gun that comes with the kit that I have up for the giveaway is for the foundation and hair touch up and things like that which you like to use it for that's a separate type of a gun it has the cup on the top where the foundation and the dewy and things go it's in here but the, like I said, the one for tanning is made a little bit different. But you can use the same compressor for tanning or just makeup. Or you can order different types. They have different colors. 
If you ever go on their site and want something different than the two colors I'm offering, I just offer these two because I still have them really boxed up really well. Because I also sell Dynair products. I'm just still in the getting my uh, website up and everything. So, but anyway, you would be receiving this like this. And if you're interested, like I said, if you're interested in tanning, really consider their tanning solution. It is amazing. So, that being said, I think that's it. What else do I need to talk about? And remember for the giveaway, you're going to need to be subscribed, like this video, uh, put in the comments something from the Never Fool video, name some, something that was in that bag, and just add in there that you would like to be a part of the drawing. And that will let me know, you know, to put you in there. Okay, so the giveaway will start today, April 10th, and it would run until April 30th. And by on the 8th of May, I would announce the winner. So remember, the 10th of April to the 30th, and the winner will be announced on May 8th. Of course, of 2016. Come on, you guys. Good luck, okay?